Hey, this is James Pelton, and uh, my video today is going to be a, a little bit different than normal because today I'm actually going to be, um, you know, I'm not just interested in buying cryptocurrency. Really, I'm interested in anything that can make some passive income. Okay, that's what I really enjoy is just things that I don't have to work on, but that make me money regularly. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm looking for in crypto projects. And what this has led me to is to check out mining. Okay, I just hear a lot of people talking about mining and how much money they're making, etc., etc., etc. So I thought I would just get into it a little bit. Well, what I like to do is I like to dip my toe in a little bit into things and just see. I don't I don't go all in to start with. I'm very risk adverse, and I so I start out by just kind of dipping my toe in, and then I kind of see how things go. And then I expand from there. And a lot of times, this is how I grew my business also. But I like to use the, the project itself to fund the expansion of the project. So rather than putting in $100,000 into uh, mining, I want to just put in a little bit. And then if I can use the money I make from that to expand it, um, then you kind of you know mitigate mitigate risk a little bit. So that's how I function. I'm I'm very risk averse. So I already have a couple of offsite mining rigs that I've uh, bought uh, together with a friend to mine Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, they're hosted somewhere else, but I wanted to look into if it's profitable and how easy it is to have a, a miner, a crypto miner, at my house. Um, I thought that would kind of be fun. You know, it's kind of fun when people come over and you show, hey, look, this is mining, mining Bitcoin or mining Litecoin in this case. So um, first, I just want to talk about the different types of mining there, there, that there is. So there is GPU mining, which is basically a graphics card, and that's most profitable to mine Ethereum. And we're not sure Ethereum is switching over to a new... Um, a new algorithm, Ethereum 2.0 is coming out. So GPU mining is kind of, we're not sure how it's going to look uh, soon here, sometime in the next year. So I, I don't really want to get too much into that. Um, but where I was interested are these ASIC miners, okay? And what ASIC stands for, I can't remember exactly, uh, but basically an ASIC miner is basically just a machine that's made for one thing. Uh, ASIC means something like that. Um a sole purpose machine is basically application specific integrated circuit. There we go. So it's basically just a machine that's built for one thing. Okay. So these ASICs are built for one thing and that's mining cryptocurrency. So you can't play games on these. You can't install Tetris or chips challenge or whatever. Um, these are only for mining cryptocurrency. And I wanted to start with something small just to see I, the, a few things I wasn't sure about is how loud were these things going to be. A lot of people complain about the noise. How hot was this going to get? A lot of people complain about the heat and filling up your room and you have to have a way to vent it out. Um, so I didn't want to start with some big machine that I ended up, it was too, too noisy and there's too much heat and I couldn't manage it. So I wanted to just start with something small. And uh, so I went with the Ant, the Bitmain Antminer L3 Plus, the 504 megahertz version okay and um, another reason i picked this one was you don't need anything special electricity wise so a lot of these miners can't run on a normal 120 like what a normal outlet that you have at your house you have to install either like a dryer outlet or you have to set up a whole new breaker switch for it uh, but these bitmain ant miner l3 pluses can run on a normal outlet and actually you can run two of them so if this works out and one is pretty profitable i can just plug in a second one and run two off of one uh, one breaker, and it should work great. So, and this is smaller, so it's going to be quieter. It's not going to put out as much heat. So, I'm going to start with one. If it's profitable, I'm going to go ahead and get two of them. So, um, I'm going to I'll kind of show you how I set it up and all these things. I've been running it for about a week now, and here's the numbers that I've actually been able to get from this miner after a week. Um, so, it's taken up a 711 watts. Of electricity at a time and so far it's mining me 0 0.0341 litecoin per day okay so this miner in particular it doesn't mine by bitcoin um, it mines litecoin and actually it's a script that that mines litecoin and dogecoin at the same time and then sells the dogecoin for litecoin so there's a couple of things i want to talk you through just so you kind of understand so when we talk about mining um, basically uh, you're not like, don't have a pickaxe, you're not out there actually mining. Basically, you're processing transactions 
uh, for that particular coin. So in this case, Litecoin or a Bitcoin miners processing the, the different transactions that are going on in Bitcoin. And then you receive... I don't know how, how much to get into this. This could be a really long video if I get into it too far. But basically, for the work that you've done processing transactions, you receive a reward for what you've done. Okay, And um, a small machine like this, so you basically when you've processed enough uh, transactions, they give you a block of a block reward of one Litecoin or something like that. But a machine like this, one other thing you have to keep in mind, a machine like this is too small to ever get a block by itself. So I don't process enough transactions on this, even though it's running day and night, processing 504 uh, is that, yeah, million a, a second is how fast it's running. Um, but it will never process enough to get a block on its own. So you join these pools so a Litecoin pool, and I'll show you how to set all this up. It's really not that difficult once you have it figured out. But you join these pools with other people, and so then you do part of the work, and the rest of the machines do the rest of the work, and then when you get a block as a group, you get a percentage of that block based on how much of the work that you did. Okay, so I have one of the slowest machines. I'm only faster than 17% of the machines on this, uh, on this this in this pool, but when I get a reward, I, I get 0 0.0341 Litecoin per day. Okay, so that's really all that you need to know. You don't worry too much about the technical side of it. Uh, what you really need to know is that I used 711 watts and I got 0 0.0341 Litecoin. Okay, so first thing I wanted to note is that this calculator is not correct. Okay, and I think the reason is this calculator, like on some of these websites, is based just on mining Litecoin. But the script that I have it running, which, I, again, it's not hard to set this up, is mining both Litecoin and Dogecoin and selling the Dogecoin. So here's the actual numbers I got after a week. So I spent $1,300 on this miner. Um, and you can go to this website. You can see they have used ones for $1,100. Uh, $1 bucks. So that might be a good choice for you. Um, if you can find one. Uh, I have a friend who sells these. Unfortunately, he doesn't have very many, so I can't tell you <laughs> where it is. Um, but I got mine for thirteen hundred, I think, a, a refurbished one. So these are not too bad of deals. But you can, I wouldn't buy from a website that you just find randomly. Um, I would look for these trusted vendors, and I'm at asicminervalue.com, which I'll put in the links below. Um, but here's the actual numbers. So I spent thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, LTC Litecoin is at $203 right now, which is actually low. It's been up to $280 even earlier this month. Um, I mined 0 0.0341 per day. So again, um, I think, uh, yeah, here's their mining calculator. So they, they only, this Litecoin mining calculator only, only assumed that I would mine 0 0.0124 Litecoin a day. So I think this script I'm running with the Dogecoin with it so they, they estimate I'm going to be making $1.19 a day after electricity, and that's not the numbers I actually got after a week. So I'm actually getting about almost triple what they thought I would get. And then I looked at my electricity costs, because that's you know a big part of this. And in the summer, I'm charged 0 0.09 for kilowatt hour. And in the winter, uh, strange enough, if you, only, if you use under 1,000, you're only charged 0 0.08. But then after 1,000, you're charged 6 cents. So I would think you get penalized for using more. That's what makes more sense to me, but they, it's not how it works. And I always go over 1,000 kilowatts because I also drive a Tesla. Um, I'm not flexing. That's just, I like technology and uh, Tesla's pretty cool. Um, so my electricity in the summer is going to be 9 cents a kilowatt hour. And in the winter, it's going to be 6 cents a kilowatt hour. So I put that in here. So I'm mining uh, 0 0.0341 Litecoin a day. My summer price is nine cents a kilowatt hour. Winter six cents an hour. So my electricity that I used, and I had to use their, I just used their calculator to figure this out. I know I'm using 711 watts, um, and uh, so that worked out to a dollar fifty-three in the summer and a dollar oh five in the winter. So my revenue a day is six, has been six dollars and ninety-two cents, which means my profit in the summer is five thirty-nine, and in the winter is uh that's not right b5 it should be minus b7 see sometimes i mess these up so my average daily profit is five dollars and 63 cents i make about 50 cents more in the winter than i do in the summer 
Um, so my average weekly profit's 40 bucks, and my average monthly profit is $167, which means in a year, on this $1,300 investment, I'll make $2,055. Um, or I'll get my money back in 230 days, or that's, I like to sometimes look up the, if I'm putting in 1300, how much do I start making per month? And I'm making 13% uh, on that 1300 per month. Um, so that's not bad. That's, this is pretty good. After, what is that, about eight months, then everything after that will be profit. Um, and that's if the price of Litecoin, I assume that the price of Litecoin will go up. So again, earlier in November, it was 10 cents. Uh, if you look at it from a year, um, it looks like, I mean, it used to, in May, it was way up. So you don't, you're not sure what it's going to do. But if it if it did get back up to like that 280, um, then I'm looking at $247 uh, a month. So um, I think this miner is probably worth, you know, it's only a $1,300 um, investment and it's pretty cool. Um, so that's my conclusion. I'm going to get a second one. So my conclusion is if you have a place that you can put it that's quiet, because it is a little loud. It's about the noise of a hair dryer. So just think of a hair dryer running all the time. That's about the noise of one. So if you have like a back room in the basement or maybe in the garage, it'd be okay. Um, it doesn't get super hot, but you can't like put it in a closet. So um, I had it in a closet and I had the door shut for a little bit and it, the room got way too hot. So if you have a space that you don't mind, like a hair dryer running all the time, maybe take a hair dryer somewhere in your house and just run it and see if that would bother you, if that would bother your, your spouse maybe. Um, my wife's not like, she's not against this, but she's not like super for it either. She kind of usually is just like, go ahead, do your thing. I'm, I'm looking to see if she's looking at me as I say this. Maybe she can't hear me. Um, but so if you have a place to put it and you want to give it a try, I recommend this one. So I'm going to put buy two of these and then I'm going to start looking into some of the bigger ones, see how loud they are and let you know. So um, after this, I'll show you my experience kind of opening it, setting it up. Um, there were a couple things I had to work through, but not too hard. So um, if you like it, go ahead and like this video, um, subscribe, and enjoy. So this is my, <clears throat> in my weight room downstairs in my house. You can see this is where the magic happens uh, every morning. Got my cap machine, my punching bag, my Thor Ragnarok poster for added motivation. Um, but I'm hoping that this will be the quietest place to set this up. Um, and if it works out well, then uh, hopefully I can maybe put a few back there. upright um, these pins just all fit in here and uh, I, I hope that I set it up right I think I did there was there was a total of one two three four five cords and then I found five places to plug them in so I'm gonna hope that's right and go on to the next step uh, you might disagree with my methodology also I'm kind of like a forgiveness not permission type of person so I'm just gonna try it to my storage uh, area. And the reason I, it took a few days is because I don't have ethernet back here. So you, this, this uh, ant miner needs ethernet. Um, it plugs into a normal outlet, but it needs ethernet. So I actually bought this and I'll put a link to this. It's Bros Trend. And basically it takes Wi-Fi and turns it into ethernet. Okay, it's, it's like 20 bucks or something like that. So um, that's able, I'm able to just plug that in. It picks up my Wi-Fi signal and I'm able to plug the ethernet down into the ant miner and it plugs into a normal outlet so i am set to go so it's been making about uh seven or eight dollars per day the, the price of uh litecoin has gone down a little bit uh, because of the crash we had the other day so i'm uh, probably making about seven dollars a day and costing about a dollar a day in electricity so on a fourteen hundred fifteen hundred dollar machine making about 180 dollars a month and um, that's not too bad because, and the price of Litecoin could go up. So it, it has gone up uh, over the past. And as Bitcoin continues to rise, Litecoin will go with it. So hope this has been helpful and uh, let me know if I can help with anything. Thanks.